from after dark. World headquarters, get up. Get up, get up, motherfucker, get up. It'll be easier once you get that cup of coffee. Maybe I can give you a few laughs. From After Dark World Headquarters, this is your favorite. Correspondent KD welcoming you to another great edition of Friday was the 17th and today's the 18th. Oh my. The Annie Sing Christmas shows tonight. No, I'll see you there. I made an omission yesterday that I want to make sure that I correct. Uh, on my Hall of Fame, and I'll move it up here so you can see it better. And I'll turn on a little more light. Yes, I know I'm walking away from the camera. But fear not, I shall return. My Hall of Fame for today, Baron Von Raschke autographed to me. Do you see that to Mr. KD, my greatest fan, Baron Von Raschke, the claw. I love that picture. I got that off his website back in the day. As always, we honor my brother, Scott. Here he is in Pittsburgh at the Warhol Museum. I dig this picture. And Pam Greer, dare I say autographed? I will dare. The only question is, I'm confident this is this is Baron Von Rasky's autograph, but I purchased this offline, so I suppose there's always a chance that it's bogus, but I dig it. So, that's the Hall of Fame for December 18th anti-scene Christmas show day. I just didn't want to move on to the next subject when I didn't acknowledge those great photographs. So let's begin the reading from Mr. and Ms. America and all ships at sea and all sods everywhere. This is going to shock some people. The 101 pers Best Personal Development Classics. Okay, D. Really? Well, really. So, um, Vic Johnson is reviewing these books, and so we'll begin at 1902, As a Man Thinketh, James Allen. This book by James Allen, As a Man Thinketh, is based on the premise that your life and everything in that life is entirely shaped by your perception of it. Listen. And your thoughts as you go about your day. Thus, one of the primary goals of this book is to teach the reader how to train the mind to think in patterns that bring about success, health, happiness, and joy. This is a little book that's most responsible for you reading the one you're currently reading. Had I not read As a Man Thinketh, I might not have gone on to the success I had, which led me to become an author. So, As a Man Thinketh, I own it. It is good. I could suggest that. We'll continue with this because, as you know, I'm always looking for new material to read, and not all of it can be this. Although, I think my subscribers love and expect this. Let me tell you, in honor of Gene Tracy, let's go to the underground truck stop king of comedy, Gene Tracy. A hillbilly came back from World War II. He'd been in the war for three years. And he came back home to his family of hillbillies in West Virginia. So he comes in with his big sack, 
his rucksack, whatever you want to call it. He sets it down. He's in his uniform. Mom's in the kitchen. He says, Ma, I'm home. Ma turns around and says, yeah. Yeah, you're home, all right. You're home. Hillbilly says, hey, where's Paul? Oh, he's out back chopping kindling. So he goes out back. Hey, Paul. I'm back. Paul turns around and says, hell yeah. Hail to the yeah, you're back. Well, tell me, son. What did you do in the war? And he says, well, I killed a lot of krauts. Bayoneted a few, choked one to death. But a lot of the time, I use hand grenades. Paul looked at me and says, hand grenades? What's that? He says, well, I just hope, happened to bring one with me, a live one. He says, what you do is you get this little device, pull this pin, and you throw it. And off the grenade went and landed on top of the shit house. All of a sudden, kablam! And boards and dirt and dookie went flying everywhere. Paul and his son are just standing there looking at that. All of a sudden, Grandpa's head popped out from under the boards and he screamed, God Almighty, am I glad I didn't let that one in the house. To Gene Tracy, King of the Truck Stops. Continuing with the reading. How about a hustler choke? Chosen by Larry Flint personally. <laughs> oh, this is a good one. The oh so politically incorrect. Larry Flint. A truck driver picked up one of those long haired androgynous types that are so in vogue these days. After an hour of silence, the hitchhiker said, well, aren't you going to ask me? Ask you what, the truck driver replied, whether I'm a boy or a girl? The trucker says, it don't make any difference. I'm fucking you anyway. All right, all right, all right. Shall we read a Xavier Hollander letter? Xavier Hollander, the happy hooker, how about it? Get down the last few pages. There she is, check her out. All right, a letter to Xavier, Xavier, uh, Xavier, how in the hell ever you want to say it. Dear Zavira, I am a 16-year-old female, and I guess you would call me a part-time prostitute. I read your first book when it first came out, and I really dug the shit out of it. I'm in the hospital now, but I'll get out in a few days. Believe it or not, it was my English teacher. It was my English teacher who brought me a copy of Xavier. I read as though I read it as though those books were going out of style. And the chapter on David reminded me of something like that which happened to me a few years ago. I also liked the question and answers. They were really interesting, and I think I learned quite a lot from them. My ultimate goal is to meet you and if we get that far to go to bed with you. There isn't any part of your body I wouldn't go over with 
loving care. I'm sure you get a lot of letters like this, but I really mean it. I've been looking at women since I was 10 or 11 years old. Well, I better sign off now because I hear the people coming with my dinner. <laughs> Take care of yourself and may God keep you safe and out of jail. With love, name withheld, St. Paul, Minnesota. You see how much I got left? Just that. I hate to, I hate to let it go, but it's going to happen soon, sooner to, uh, rather than later. Come join me at the Annie Scene Christmas Show at the Tipsy Burrow Canteen on Monroe Road in Charlotte. We're going to have, as Gene Tracy would say, another wild time tonight. It'll be great. I will be there as your humble correspondent, documenting everything, interviewing everyone that seems interesting enough to interview. How about that? So I'll leave you with these parting words. Be nice until it's time not to be nice. Be kind to animals. Discipline equals freedom. And always remember, never complain and never explain. So, for Mr. and Ms. America, all ships at sea and all sods everywhere, I shall be wandering the earth heading towards Charlotte later on today. And I look to see you there. But if I don't see you, I will be wandering the earth soon, heading in your direction. And I hope that we can get into adventures together. This is KD from KD After Dark wishing you a very, very great day.